So this disease first attacks the outside of the body, either through droplets or fecal matter, um, or, you know, those are the two main transmissions for this particular disease. It comes from the outside. So the, the first thing to do is to fortify the outside so that it can't get in. If it does get on the outside, that's the prevention stage. The first stage is prevention. Uh, the next stage is the early stage. That's when it's between the skin and the organs. When it's just to the nose, it's just to the mouth. We get a, a burny, sore throat, runny nose, sneeze, initial cough. There's different treatments and different herbs and different Qigong methods for the early stage. If it makes it past the early stage, it goes into the lungs, and then people get to the pneumonia, bilateral pneumonia. And now we're ready for the hospitalizations. The fourth stage in this disease progression is recovery. So those from a Chinese medicine perspective, I mentioned there's 60,000 cases that have been treated in China uh, with Chinese medicine. That's how they've broken it down. And there's been three main sources of publication that's come out of China to talk about this. Uh, the first of which was from the Hubei Province Hospital. Um, the second was from the Wuhan Union Hospital. And the third protocol was released by the central Chinese government, the PRC, General Guidelines for COVID-19. Um, so anyone can look these up. Uh, Hubei Province Hospital Protocol to treat COVID-19, or the, the COVID-19, the Wuhan Union Hospital Protocol, and the PRC protocol. Those are what we're calling it in Chinese medicine. These are the three main protocols to deal with coronavirus. And all of them look at it in stages, and all of them look at it amongst the same stages. A prevention stage, where we're trying not to get sick. An early stage, where there's a chance for intervention. A pneumonia stage, where it's critical and we need Western medical support. And a recovery stage. So that's one way to, to think of this disease virus. Um, I think the places that we're going to make the most leverage in this class today is in prevention and recovery. There's going to be a lot of people that are going to go to the hospital that are not in the highest risk groups that are going to be turned around and sent home and said, nurse yourself at home. And without much instruction, we don't have as many ways to empower our healing. So the goal of this class is to empower people both in the prevention stage so that they don't get sick. And unfortunately, if they should get sick and are returned home from the hospital, they can do these techniques to help heal them into the prevention state or the uh, recovery state.